Mapo tofu, it is all about that spicy sauce, the porky goodness, those little pops of soft tofu. And we're doing ours with noodles today, a little different. This is my version of Mapo tofu noodles. Okay guys, I think you know by now that I believe carbs make everything better. <laughs> well, noodles do anyway. Let's get going on the spices that we need first of all, or the spice, the spice. In this case, Szechuan peppercorns. This is what gives this dish its characteristic, like spicy, numbing, kind of tingling thing that goes on. It's pretty amazing. Uh, but to get the best out of these Szechuan peppercorns, I want to dry roast them first. Now, interesting fact, guys, about Szechuan peppercorns. Um, it's not actually a peppercorn. It is the husk of a peppery ash shrub, bush, shrub, tree, I think it's a shrub. And it's the husk that sits around the seeds um, of that shrub. So when you're buying your Szechuan peppercorns, you really wanna be looking out for that red, kind of red husk on the outside rather than seeing a whole lot of black peppercorns or seeds because it's those little black seeds that will give you that bitter kind of graininess. So there you go. You know, they should just name things properly. I don't know why they just don't call them Szechuan husks. Anyway, uh, once these guys are smelling beautiful, you can see a little bit of smoke there. I'm gonna just take them off. And you wanna grind these to a nice fine powder. Prickly ash, not peppery ash. Did I say peppery ash or prickly ash? Oh my goodness, I'm pretty sure it's prickly ash. <laughs> so this is the kind of situation that you're after here. And now let's get going on the saucy part. Okay, so I want some oil in my wok. And then you wanna go in here with some pork mince. And now some garlic. And I'm just gonna grate some ginger straight in there as well. Now at this point, we wanna start adding in our spicy things. Um, so uh, another very essential ingredient for a typical mapo tofu is what's called uh, doban jiang. And it is a fermented broad bean and chili paste. Um, uh, typically from Sichuan province in China. You can find this online. It's not too difficult to find online. And I've got to tell you, it adds the most amazing kick of chili spice and umami and all the things. <laughs> so I want lots of that because I like the chili kick, as you guys know. Now, if you can't by chance get a hold of this, you can at a pinch use um, a little bit of a substitute here. So you could do some miso paste and add a little bit of like chili garlic paste, just a typical sambal olic or a Chinese chili garlic paste. You'll kind of get a similar sort of situation going on. I love that red color. Okay, now we wanna go in with some other flavorings here. Along with, I mean, I know we've just added chili, but we're gonna add a little bit more chili. I think the thing with um, typically Sichuan dishes is that counterplay of the Sichuan peppercorn, the tingling and the numbing, and then like the really spicy chili just kind of sets the whole thing off. So, you know, add in a little less if you'd like to keep this, uh, you know, PG. Now in with the Sichuan peppercorns that we ground up earlier. Chicken stuff. And now some soy sauce, dark soy sauce, some sugar here just to like balance out all that spiciness. Oh, that is already looking so fiery. I love it. Uh, now what we want to do is just turn this down, turn the heat down. And I want everything in there to become really well acquainted. I want that uh, pork to start kind of soaking up all that wonderful flavor and just for all those sort of sauces and seasonings to get to know each other. A few minutes here. So while our sauce is doing its thing, let's have a look at our tofu. So I'm using a silken tofu, which means that this is gonna be a very delicate operation. Um, 
Very soft. Look, you could use a firm tofu as well. I just really love the mouthfeel of the really hot, spicy uh, sauce and then that really delicate, almost like, you know, pillowy, soft kind of texture and cooling effect of, of the silken tofu. So that's my preference. Um, to get this going though, what we need to do is dice this up gently. So just through the center here and then just cut your cubes. so satisfying about cutting silken tofu. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> it's probably just me. Uh, let's get this into our sauce, which by now is looking lovely and red and amazing. Um, so just really gently slide that in. You want a little bit of sesame oil there as well. Now you want to very gently just coax those tofu cubes into the sauce. Oh, and this is just looking too good. Let's get this onto our noodles. I've got some, uh, just some dried uh, udon noodles that I've cooked here and I tossed them in a little bit of sesame oil as well so they wouldn't stick together. So I just want a little pile of those. Now you want lots of that fiery goodness on top of your noodles. Oh, don't forget, get lots of that, that beautiful red, like kind of oily sauce. I mean, I hate to call it oily, but it's kind of like, that's kind of what it is, but that's all flavor and spice and amazingness. So get lots of that. And then you wanna give this a really good mix. So you're getting a distribution of all of, you know, the, the sauce and the pork and the noodles and the, Tofu. Now let's get in here, shall we? Looks so good. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. That is such a huge explosion of flavor. You get that chili spice, like up front. But then you get that porky sauce and then that like tingling Sichuan peppercorn party kind of thing happening at the end. Amazing. Ah, oh, spicy noodles. I love you. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks guys.